Hi, everybody. All right, let's see if this is working. Hi, everybody. Good morning. Happy Sunday. Thank you so much for joining me early on a Sunday. Um, I'm sure you all have many, many things to do, but I'm really glad that you're here, especially for this topic. Hi, guys. Um, it is a very rainy day here in Pensacola again. <laughs> We've had a lot of rain this week. Um, and so it's kind of dark in here. Oh, my goodness. There is the most beautiful rainbow right outside my window. And it's so important that I have to take a picture of it to show my kids. Okay. Wow, guys, I wish I could turn this around and show you. There is the most beautiful rainbow, just as I'm complaining about it raining outside. God, you're just funny sometimes. You know that? How, how funny. I have to see if that rainbow goes all the way across. It does. All right. You guys, I have to tell my kids about this rainbow. Hey, Brady. Brady Lay. Nope. Can't hear me. All right. I will take a picture, or I did take a picture and I'll show them, but how funny, it is so pretty. I'll post it later and show you guys. Um, I was just talking about the fact that it's raining here in Pensacola and it's been raining forever. And um, we haven't been able to go outside much and everybody's kind of stir crazy. And launch week is always really busy. And I look like on the other side of my computer and there's a huge rainbow. Okay, if, if that is not a sign, I don't know what is. Um, so we are here today, we're going to talk about worry and wisdom. And when I was coming up with the topics I wanted to talk about during launch week, um, this was the first one that came to mind because I think that during 2020, we have all had to deal with our fair share of worry, right? I don't even know if I would call it our fair share. I think we've had a little more than our fair share. Um, but what I have learned over the years, um, as someone who deals with anxiety, legit anxiety, from the time I was a kid until here I am at 37, is that the way we turn the volume down on the worry, the unnecessary worry, is through wisdom. And um, I have found over the years that worry is not a good thing until it is. Um, sometimes worry is unnecessary and it becomes anxiety that is, isn't needed, um, that hinders us and holds us back. And sometimes worry exists to remind us that we might be stepping outside of boundaries that we should not step out of, or that we might be entering into a, a, a season where we need to have heightened awareness, like 2020, like COVID, um, so sometimes it's important for us to turn the volume down on the worry. And sometimes it's important to us to acknowledge that it's there, to name it and say, okay, here's what it is. I read something recently about worry that said that God gives us grace and strength in actual circumstances that happen to us, in tragedy, in loss, in suffering. But he doesn't necessarily give us the grace and strength to handle that before it happens. Does that make sense? So when we worry about something that hasn't happened yet or something that could happen, we don't have the strength or the grace yet to be able to deal with that. And if you've ever been through anything tragic or awful, which all of us have, um, you know that in, in that season, we sometimes dig up strength we didn't know we had, you know? Um, I can think about, I have had, um, and I've written very openly about this throughout the years, but I have had seasons of just debilitating anxiety. Um, I can think of three, and they're usually about three years apart. And it's almost like a cyclical thing that, that just happens to me. Um, and it's, it's always in the fall. I don't know why. And so um, every at the end of every summer, beginning of every fall, I, I kind of do a temperature check. Like, how are we doing? Are we there yet? Are we feeling like the anxiety is mounting? Um, because when it starts to get there, we need to do something about it. Um, and there's a whole, obviously, slew of things you can do about it. But in those seasons that I've had where it's just been debilitating anxiety over, it'll be for me over health issues, over concern for my kids, over dealing with infertility or whatever, you know, years ago, um, it starts to feel like the world is crashing down. 
And the ways that I've found to combat that is to rely on wisdom. So I have a couple things I want to share with you. Um, I have them on my phone, so please hold. One of them is a quote from C.S. Lewis that I have saved on my phone and I uh, like to go back to whenever I start to feel the worry bubbling up. Um, and his quote is this. Remember, one is given strength to bear what happens to one, but not the 101 different things that might happen. So we are given strength to handle what will happen or what happens to us, not what could happen, not the 101 things that may happen to others. I'm the type of person that I feel others' feelings like really strongly. And so when we go through a year like this or when I go through a season of anxiety, it's often that there's something going on around me and I'm taking it on myself. Um, I'm internalizing it and trying to fix it for them or I'm trying to, I, I just I just empathize like a lot with others. And um, this year, well, in years past, but definitely this year, I have felt that immensely, that there is so much going on in the world that we need to take an active part in. And I won't even get started on that. Uh, if you want more on that, you can watch my prayer from the first video of Launch Week. Um, but there's so much going on in the world. There's so many things we need to care about and be part of. But we also have to care for ourselves, our vessels, our bodies, our minds, our hearts and souls, so that we can do the good work, so that we can fight for what's right, so that we can care for our kids at home with school and work and all the things we have to first and foremost care for ourselves. So um, I listen to a podcast. Um, I'm not a huge podcast person, but I listen to ve a very small handful. And one of them is a podcast by Emily P. Freeman. And it's called The Next Right Thing. And if you have ever read her book, you know that it's just phenomenal. Um, she is a very heartfelt writer. And she wrote recently, and then I also saw Jen Hatmaker write recently, about filling your vault and how it's so important to fill your vault, to fill your well during time, during good times, when you aren't worried, when you aren't suffering from anxiety or dealing with tragedy or working through problems. It's so important to fill our vaults with things that will um, sustain us if and when those times come. And so, hey, hey, tell the kids there's a huge rainbow out there. Just tell them. Okay, sorry, <laughs> Brian was at the door. <laughs> so it's so important to um, fill our vaults with things that will sustain us, to build strong relationships around us with friends, with our spouses, with our church groups, with our communities, to build those relationships, to invest in those friendships, because those are going to be, be the people that show up at our door when something does happen. Um, and it will. It's just life, right? Um, also, to fill our hearts and souls with truth. I believe wisdom comes from two places, truth that we learn, that we're educated on, and experience. And I think that's also why as we get older, we start to um, feel a little more confident in what we know for sure, right? So Emily P. Freeman, her podcast is so good. It's like 15 minute little bite-sized um, podcast. She doesn't do a ton of interviews. It's just her and I love her format. Um, I listen to her often. Uh, her, her podcast comes out once a week and I listen to it. They went and saw the rainbow um, while I'm getting ready in the mornings. And so um, I just love what she says about filling your vault because it's a proactive thing that we can do when we're not in the thick of it, right? Um, and I think also, I just saw Kristen said, I, it, it also is so important to surround yourself with people and peers who challenge you. This is so true, to surround yourself with good people in all different ways, right? Because that's going to be your tribe when you do come into something that is hard and something that is difficult. Lastly, and I'm going to try to keep today's kind of short because my kids are waiting on me to come teach Brady how to make a bacon, egg, and cheese. Well, mini bacon, egg, and cheese bagels because they're hungry and they, Brady's learning to cook. Um, but the other thing I wanted to tell you about is relying on what you know for sure. When I was working on my next book, it's called Growing Boldly, Dare to Build a Life You Love, and it comes out next year. Um, but I was reading a story about Oprah Winfrey 
that she was interviewed by a very famous, um, I can't remember if he was like a news anchor or a talk show person, but he asked her what she knows for sure. He just said, tell me what you know for sure. And she said, as she recounted this, this interview, she said, I had no idea. I had no idea what I knew for sure. Uh, she said she was completely stumped. She never gets stumped in an interview. She wasn't sure what she knows for sure. And so she has spent the years since then pocketing these truths that she knows for sure. And I just love that. And so I asked um, yesterday on yesterday's Instagram Live, uh, it, was a, it was a Q and A all about planners and styling and all the things, but um, I asked people what they knew for sure and what truths they had tucked into their pockets that they could pull out when the worry started to become too much, when the season started to become difficult. And for so many people, it was, I know, I, I believe in my tribe. I know my tribe's gonna show up. Um, I rest strongly on my faith. I know that God will sustain me through whatever life throws my way. Um, I believe the wholeheartedly that there's hope in every situation. I mean, it was just such a beautiful, thing to go back and watch, um, <clears throat> excuse me, and read. So I challenge you, and I would love to know, I can see your comments in real time, and I would love for us to gift anyone who watches this later with what we know for sure. So I would love for you to tell me, what do you know for sure? I saw Casey says, I believe in my tribe. I know my husband, my daughter, and I are a unit. We are together through anything. Yes, we need to know. Oh, yes. I love someone said we need to know when to rest too. And that was something I was thinking about this morning while I was getting ready because around this time during launch week, I start to get um, tired, honestly, um, because we're doing so much work on the back end, getting things ready. We're, I'm wearing way more makeup than I usually do. <laughs> My hair's been washed more times than it usually is. And um, I, I, I often like nighttime, I'm a little bit of a night owl. And when I do these, I have to make myself go to bed a little earlier. So I have lots of energy, but it's a discipline to make sure that you're giving yourself the rest that you need so that you, again, can be your very best self. That's part of the vault to me is knowing when to turn on the discipline to say, okay, I'm going to take care of myself. I'm going to drink those green smoothies. That's a whole other story. I love my green smoothies. Um, I'm going to go to bed at a decent hour and um, rest and just rejuvenation is so important. I know that God's timing is best, even when I may not understand it. Um, food can be nourishing in so many ways. I love that. God only gives us what we can handle. God is faithful. God is in control. Oh, I know my husband and daughter are gifts. Yo, these just make me so happy. Thank you for sharing this. God, God's word is precious to me because it is, it is, it is always unchanging. He's always good and faithful. Knowing when to lay it all at God's feet. I, that is my favorite thing I have heard today because in those seasons of anxiety that I've been through, there have been many things that have helped me get through them. Um, first and foremost, my faith. Secondly, my husband, who is knows when to tell me to get up <laughs> and shake it off. Um, but also knowing when to lay it down to say whatever it is I'm worried about. And always looking back, hindsight's 2020, and I can say, you know, come on, like, why was I so concerned about this that had not happened or that I thought wouldn't, would happen? And um, it eventually just looks like laying it down, laying it down at the feet of someone bigger than you. It also can look like seeking out th a therapist or help or a doctor. Um, it, it can look like a lot of ways, but sometimes to get out of the worry, we just have to lay it down or we have to take one step. We have to do, as Emily P. Freeman says, that next right thing, even if it's something really small making a phone call, sending an email, um, telling someone that we're struggling. So I, um, I am just so glad that you guys are here and that you have shared all of these things that you know for sure. I think it's wonderful and I can't wait to go back and, and read all of these things. Okay, um, I have one more thing I wanna share with you before we take any questions that you guys have. Um, about this topic, about planners. I did finally go get my blue trellis uh, planner pouch out of my purse to show you. <laughs> I haven't had it in here for all these lives because it's been my mask bag. Um, and as you know, we sold out of planner pouches last uh, launch. And so I haven't had an extra one to use. But 
I did go get it and I will show it to you at the end. Um, oh, someone just said, I love that the Simplified Sisterhood is strong and empowered. If you are not part of the Simplified Sisterhood Facebook group, you got to go join it. It's, so, it's just such a positive, positive, positive place. I also want to tell you one more thing. I have a poem I want to read to you, but I wanted to tell you one thing. So all week long, we're sending out emails with freebies um, to celebrate launch and to just put some really good tactical tools in your hand. And this is the printable that's going out today in today's email. Make sure that you're on the um, email list so that you can get it this afternoon. It's called The Good Life. What does the good life look like to you? And if you've read When Less Becomes More, my last book, you know that this is a big topic in there. So often we believe achieving greatness is what will allow us to live the good life. But what if we reworked that definition? Define an attainable life that will bring you joy, rest, and connection. This is the good life. And so there's a couple of just um, exercises to work through to set your perspective and to help you define what that actually looks like. And I really believe that these tactical things are one of the best ways to turn down the worry. Um, also, using a tool like a planner, which I've done many times, um, to intentionally ch make a change. Um, during one anxious episode, I don't even want to call it an episode, it was a season. Um, it was 2013. Um, I wrote about it in Grace Not Perfection. Uh, Brian's dad had just tragically passed away 17 days after being diagnosed with cancer. We lost our bull mastiff to cancer. I had a little baby at home. Um, we were going through infertility, trying to have another baby, babies. <laughs> um, and what I realized is I just wasn't taking care of myself. And so I started using my planner to say, okay, Emily, you just need a checklist. Um, you need a list of, you need to make sure you're drinking water every day. You need to make sure you're not skipping two meals a day, which I was doing because I was just so busy. I was skipping breakfast and lunch. Um, you need to make sure that you're moving your body. It is not uh, selfish of you to go for a walk. It is not selfish of you to hand your kid an iPad and do a quick workout on the floor. Um, I had to use my planner to say, these are some things I'm missing in my life that I need to add back. And we get good at what we practice. So if we're practicing worry and anxiety and what might happen and fears of the monsters in the closet, that's what we're going to get good at. If we get good at using a tool to bring change into our life, to um, fill the holes, to identify what we are missing and what we'd like to add to our lives or take away, then we get good at that, right? So I hope that that is super encouraging. I have this poem that I love and I... Um, oh goodness, did I just move it? Hold on. I've got my manuscript up for my book right here. And I had it pinned because I was just so inspired by it. Okay. Oh, I found it. Okay. All right. This book is called Dreamscape and the poet is named Aaron Hansen. Um, and I just love how it's this poem just so beautifully describes like all of the intricacies of who we are as people. Um, none of us, no matter what you see on social media, have it all together. We're all struggling in all the ways that you are. Um, but a lot of times we take social media and everyone's highlights and we put them into this standard created by the world of who we should be. And it's not only impossible, it's just dumb <laughs> because none of us are capable of that. Um, so anyway, I just love this poem. So let's let's let me just read this to you. If there's one thing I may tell you, let it be, you are your home. Your body is the only house that you will ever truly own. Maybe it's got some broken windows and there are tear stains on the floors. Maybe you lack the things you wish you weren't behind its many doors. But there is wisdom on its bookshelves and a laugh to light the rooms. There's a vase upon the table where the love you've grown all blooms. Dreams sit on the mantelpiece next to kindness and your trust. Where you use them all so often, they have no time to collect dust. So please don't look at mansions with that envy in your eyes. There's more that makes a home than its appearance or its size. Your body is your shelter, so you deserve to love it all. Don't let the world stand round outside and tell you how to paint your walls. 
How lucky that you have somewhere to protect you from the night. And if there's cracks left from the past, well, then they just let in more light. That is by Erin Hansen in her book, Dreamscape. And I just love that. Um, you can get the book on Amazon. I have it. It's great. Um, I love poetry. I was an English major, but I just love, I love that message because it reminds us to take care of ourselves, all the parts. All right, guys. Um, let me know if you have any questions at all that I can answer for you. I'm going to give you just a couple of uh, notes about launch week. Seven things. Are you ready? Number one. Launch day is September 2nd, 10 a.m. Eastern Time, next Wednesday. Make sure you're signed up for the emails to get all the fun things we're sending out this week, emilyway.co slash newsletter. Make sure you signed up for our text messages from Team Simplified. Um, you can text SIMPLIFY to 29071. Um, make sure that you've taken the quiz to find out which sig simplified planner is perfect for you, emilyway.co slash giveaway. Um, and join me for our Instagram live today at 2 p.m. Eastern time. Um, we'll just be doing a QA. and a I'm going to show you really quickly all of the fun products that are launching on Wednesday. Um, well, here's just a couple. Let me see. We have, here it is, guys. Here's the blue trellis planner pouch. This, I've been using it as a mask bag. This is well loved. And you can see it has just held up really beautifully. Um, it has... A navy blue, let's try to see if there's any masks inside. A navy blue inside. We also have the pink pinstripe planner pouch. We also have the happy floral planner pouch. And we have our three new pencil pouches navy B, citrus, happy stripe. We have our new pencils. Uh oh, I think my kids have stolen my keychains. Well, we have new keychains, and I think that they might be in one of my kids' hands. Um, we have a rainbow keychain that says, oh, happy day, and we have a um, pineapple keychain as well. And we have our legal pads. This legal pad set comes with two. And then we have our new Dapper Desk planners here. And you can see all the insides, videos, all the things over on our um, website. Then we have our daily editions and our weekly edition, oh, upside down, that are dated for 2021. The ultimate fresh start <laughs> is going to be 2021. Okay, I also have a giveaway. And let me see. The giveaway, so we are giving away a 2021 Signature Simplified Planner. And um, that is going to go to, if I say your name, email taylor at emilylay.com to claim it before noon today with which planner you want and also your shipping address. Our winner is chosen from the comments here, Natalyn Hook, H-O-U-K, Natalyn Hook. I hope I pronounced your last name right. But we are so excited to give you a brand new 2021 planner. Um, we will send it out to you. ASAP. Okay, I just saw someone ask about legal pads. Um, let me see. Legal pad size is... Let me hold it up next to a... Um, oh, launch day celebration kit. Make sure you venture to win that as well. So, yes. The legal pad size is the exact same size as a piece of paper. Um, and then the launch day celebration kit, make sure you enter to win that because we're announcing the winner on Tuesday morning. You can win Apple AirPods Pro, a $100 gift card to Simplified, Happy Floral Paper Plates, Happy Stripe Napkins, Simplified Launch Day T-shirt in a size medium, and a custom Honey the Bee drink tumbler. Yay! Okay. There's all the fun links that you guys need. Okay. Are they true legal pad size? Yes, they are legal pad size. Um, okay, if you guys want to see all the details of the new products, hop over to our website. They're all there. They just say coming soon, but you can see all of the details. Um, I see a couple of questions. Let me just see. Hold on. I see a couple of questions about um, 
the details, <clears throat> excuse me, of launches. So let me just outline that for anybody who is new. So if you are, um, if you are new to Simplified, we have two launches a year. We have one in April and we have one in September. The one in April, we launch our academic year editions. And that is uh, dated with the academic year, August through the following July. And if you are shopping in our September launch, this is for our calendar year editions that run January through December. Um, okay, let's see. Can you use pineapple points on launch day? Yes, you absolutely can. Um, are pouches washable? No. So with pouches, I would, they're leatherette. Let me grab one. They are leatherette, and so they're made of vegan leather. So if you ever got anything on it, what I do is I just spot clean it. A magic eraser will take off just about anything from anything, but I would just use like a damp paper towel and just wipe the outside. The insides are navy with the exception of the B that is a light blue. Um, and so really, especially with the navy interiors, you're not gonna see anything. Um, but yeah, again, just wipe them down. All right. Um, okay, someone asked me to, excuse me, my eyelashes are sticking together. Repeat the name of the poem. So the book is Dreamscape, and the poet's name is Erin, E-R-I-N, Hansen. Erin Hansen. Isn't it just a beautiful poem? I just love it. Um, Okay, and I just saw someone mention my story of self-care and when less becomes more. If you're interested in more about this this topic, when less becomes more is a great book um, that talks a lot about this. Um, okay, let me see what other questions are here. Do you expect shipment delay due to the move? So we are getting fully moved into our warehouse. We'll be ready to go on launch day. With launch, there's always a delay because we have just a slew of orders coming in all at the same time, but we will be um, working just as quickly as, as possible. Our new warehouse is ready to go and we have the most incredible team over there that is working so hard. So we will get them out just as quickly as possible. Okay, let me just make sure I got everything. Um, okay, awesome. Um, somebody said, what do you think about the monochromatic look of everything in blue trellis? I love it. I love a monochromatic look. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. If you guys would like to see more of the pairings together, um, I am so happy to do that this afternoon on Instagram Live. I'll have a little bit more time. Um, but international shipping, yes, we will do that. Um, let's see. Do the legal pads fit into the folios sold through the At a Glance collaboration? I do not have one here, but I'm assuming. Hi. <laughs> I do not have one here, but I'm. I they should. Um, but don't take my word for it. Just definitely just test it out and make sure. All right. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I'm so excited for launch day. Um, make sure you go to our website. Check out everything. Um, you can watch videos, see photos, take the quiz, enter the giveaway, all kinds of fun stuff. And then I will see you on Instagram Live um, this afternoon at 2 p.m. Eastern Time. Okay, yep. Thank you, guys. Happy Sunday. Have a great rest of your day.